Yo, what is up guys? Blake here bringing you some max balance PvP and in today's video we're doing some more of the prism strat. It's a lot of fun and it actually works pretty well, especially if your opponent doesn't know what you're doing and the best part about it is that it is like a free to play uh, piece of gear. It sucks that you can't train this, but you can buy this at the bazaar for I think like 15k gold or something like that. Would definitely recommend it if you're a balance and you're looking for cool new strats and like I said, it actually works really well if your opponent doesn't know how to counter it or they're playing kind of slow so yeah i hope you guys enjoy got some really intense juicy matches the color is going to be a little bit weird i know some people like it some people don't but i had to edit this one and for some reason my editing software just changes all the colors every time i download something from twitch so yeah hope you guys enjoy the video i will see you guys in the next one as always peace out guys pro matchup okay it's wolf storm flame who's an ice wizard all right this could be good this could be good i don't know i don't know how well this is gonna work but this could be interesting. This could be interesting. All right, my boy Wolf. All right, I gotta, I gotta give this a good effort. Okay, so I pulled this. That's good. Uh, and I pulled that. Perfect. Nice starting hint. And I got to enchant in time. So good stuff. I was a little bit slow on the reacts, but it's all good. Oh, uh, he started shooting right away. Perfect. I don't care. I'm gonna shatter you anyway. So, uh, I've got both my prisms. I don't really want to hold on to two prisms. Yeah, I'm gonna discard one, and I'm gonna stun block now. I don't want to hold on to two. There's no way. If it gets death and he empowers, like that would just be that would just complete the package, you know. That would be gas. So I'm going to stun block now. Um, pull that. That's huge. And I'm going to go for all my all my traps on him, basically. Every single trap that I have, I'm going to go for. So at this point, I can just draw from side deck, right? I should be drawing from side deck. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to draw one time, pull an Ellie shield, and I'm down. I'm just going to get traps on him now. So he might have no idea what I'm doing. He might be like, bro, what is this, what is this man trying to do? What is this man doing? Like, uh, why are you trapping me? But that's okay. Um, put another stun block, don't need, draw one time, got another Ellie shield, okay. I don't need two Ellie shields, so I'm gonna go ahead and discard. But then again, I can play pretty defensively. He's gonna stun block, alright, I'm gonna discard, yeah, because if he steel charms, that's fine. I mean, steel wards, that's fine, I'm gonna discard one of those. I might even discard both. Do I need to shield right now? No, he only has one blade and he doesn't know that I'm basically warded. I have 75 res. So if he wants to dump a... And look at this, do you see what I mean? Every game that I've played, I've gotten worse shads than my opponent. Oh! <gasps> That's so beautiful. Every game I've played against my opponent, I've gotten worse shads, and I'm... Oh, that's so sexy. Okay. Every single game I've played today, that's... Oh, that's disgusting. Okay. Every single game that I have played today, I've gotten worse shads than my opponent by a lot. And I'm literally using 120 shad rating. I'm sacrificing critical. I'm sacrificing, like, all these... Oh, actually, this setup, I have 117. I have 117, so I can't talk, actually. I'm going to discard the pierce, draw one time. I actually don't even need that. I'm going to discard that too. And I'm just going to get the 30. I'm going to keep the 25, but I don't need to use that yet. I'd rather use the bigger ones just in case I end up like not needing it. I'll save that one for last, right? So let's get more traps. Pip conserved. I like it. I like it. Okay. Pierce and champ for the elf. Oh, I didn't get it off in time. It's okay. Yo, spam shields. Just spam shields, please. Yeah, he's going to bubble. Good move. So I'm just going to trap. I'm going to do my basic trap if I can't pull anything else. But let's just go ahead and enchant that. I have an empowerment, which wouldn't even be that bad this turn. But I'm going to discard. I have more empowerments. Oh, perfect. I'm going to do another 30 trap. So just full send that. I also have two blades in my deck, which actually I think I'm going to double blade. I really think I'm going to double blade, bro. Because I'm going to end up like elfing him in strike. I think I might even just keep that blade straight up. All right. Whoa. Whatever. Oh, he's bracing. Oh, that's good. I got him. I got him on the defensive, bro. He's really, he's really afraid, which is fantastic for me. That's, this is exactly what I want him to do. So I'm just going to go ahead and spirit trap him now. Discard and draw. That's the move. Discard the spirit and draw. And then, so there you go. So now I don't I don't even know how many traps I have, but it's a lot, dude. It's a lot of traps. Discard, draw, discard, draw. All right, there you go. Pull two Ellie shields. Bro, I have four Ellie shields packed. I'm supposed to pack only three. What the hell? What is this? He said the frostbite, sure, I'm down. That does nothing to me. Especially with my brace, I basically have 95 res. And he only has the bubble. That bubble is annoying though. That bubble is really, really annoying. But it's okay, it's not a big deal. So I'm gonna discard that, discard this. And then I'm not gonna need faint this game. So I'm just gonna blade. I, I do wanna get every single trap before I tr prism. So I'm just gonna blade right now. I don't even need to empower. So I'm, I'm literally just gonna blade this turn. It's cool. I have two balance blades, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna do that and then see what else I can draw. 
So my brace is gone now, and he has a bubble, which is like a little bit sus. You know what I mean? He's gonna send the Weaver. Good. I would. I would rather he do that than Blade. What is this? A weakness? All right, good. That's fine. I can. That's totally fine. I can deal with that. I'm probably gonna dark pact anyway. So we kind of forced him to do that. I'm gonna discard the faint as well. Oh, I've got two more traps. All right. So I'm gonna trap him again. He doesn't have a blade, and I have an overtime up. So if he sends a shad with just a bubble, and I have 75 res, I'm chilling. I'm not gonna faint him because I'm gonna need to fire off him for the pierce blade, especially against an ice. All right, lit. We got the aura back. Yo, pet's popping off this game. Pet is actually popping off this game. I, I'm not gonna lie. Keep drawing from side deck because why not? At this point, I'm just gonna trap. I believe that's the last trap, right? Yeah, this is the last one. I know I have enough traps. I have one, two. Because I get three. Actually, I might even have one more, dude, if I'm being honest. But let's see. He's gonna send the bomb. Perfect, dude. Perfect. He sent the bomb into the fortify and he only has a bubble. Yeah, this does nothing, dude. He can crit this too. I don't care. My block's horrible, so I'm definitely not going to block. And my multi his multiplier is going to be pretty high. But that's okay. Uh, I'm big chilling right now. As long as he doesn't have empower or hits death, I think I can one-shot him with all these traps, dude. I think I'm, I think I'm chilling right now. Look at that. It did 1,400 and he crit. And he had a 30 or 45 bubble. So I'm just going to go ahead and trap him this turn straight up. I can discard the Pierce. I'm going to hold on to the Dark Pact. He did stun block, but I can't discard that. So I'm going to Spirit Trap now. Then I'm going to discard the stun, and I'm probably going to Prism him. I'm probably going to Prism this turn, and then just double Shatter. And then at that point, I'm just going to stack on my pips until I can go for the combo. I haven't pulled my Shatter yet, though, which is kind of sus. So now I'm at max pips, dude. Max pips. He's probably like, what is this guy doing? Draw, 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 hurry. Okay, there you go. We got a Shatter. Thank God. So I'm going to shatter. I'm going to prism him first, and then I'm going to shatter. That's the move. Yeah, I'm going to prism him right now. He's going to rebrace. That's totally fine. I'm going to prism now and pray that it's not death, dude. I, I just got to pray it's not death, bro. Please, man. I have a two-thirds chance of uh, being chilling. But it hasn't been death in a minute, dude. <sighs> okay. Please don't pack in power, dude. Please, please, please don't pack in power. If he packs in power, dude, I just lose. Like, actually. Like, 100%. If he empowers, um, that's GG, man. Oh my god, dude. Why is why are there so many counter? Don't empower. Okay, thank god. He's doing something weird. Yo, tower shield. Don't blade. Perfect, dude. I'm just gonna shatter right now. I'm for sure just gonna shatter. So yeah, I don't even need that, but I'm not gonna discard. So I'm just gonna shatter right now. Big chilling. I don't even need to like shield and stuff. So yeah, I'm just gonna do this. Break off a bunch of his shields. I don't even think he had ages. I think he literally has no shields now. So I don't even need to shatter twice, bro. I think one shatter and I'm chilling, right? Yeah, bro, I don't even need to double shatter. Oh, my God. I don't even need the... Oh, baby, this is about to be nuts. He's going for a set shield now. Okay, that's fine. That's, I'm cool with that. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine, bro. That's not going to do anything. That's not going to do anything, buddy. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, blade this turn, and then I'm going to strike. Yeah, because I'd rather Max Pip judge him. So I'm gonna actually... I have a plan. Trust me, okay? I'm going to blade now, then I'm going to strike, and then I'm going to elf, and then I'm going to be at Max Pips for a judge, basically. So I'm going to do this, right? I got two blades up, which means I can elf and still have no weakness and have a buff too. This is kind of cracked. All right, so I'm going to strike right now. He's going to like weaver me. What is this? Another weakness? All right, that's fine. So I basically just can't. That's fine. Oh, that's even. Oh, big chilling, bro. Yo, I took both those off. I literally took both. Oh, yo, I'm striking. I I'm striking. Oh, dude. Okay, if he doesn't have empowered, this is about to be really hot, dude. This is what I'm talking about, right? If I'm going against somebody who doesn't know what I'm doing, like, I, I can pull this off, dude. It's just I keep getting matches where people know how to counter, and I'm just at their mercy. I can't do anything. So I'm going to elf, get a pierce blade. His brace is going to run out, and then he's cooked, man. Yeah, go ahead and tower shoot. Go ahead and tower shoot. Yeah, yeah. See, this is what I mean. Why can't I get matches like this? Okay, now I send the elf, get rid of both the weaknesses, get rid of his tower shield, put it over time, and get a pierce blade. All in one turn, dude. Big chilling. This is what I'm talking about, okay? And then the pet's gonna steal ward when he tries to shield right now. Look at this. There you go. Elf, boom, weaknesses, gone. Now I get a pierce blade. Oh, this is crazy. This is actually nuts, dude. How much does the judgment 12 pips do? 12 pip judgment does more than the mocking spiel, but I want to be a max pips, dude. I might even, no, 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 okay. I should just send the judge, right? The max pip judge, dude. Oh my God. Yo, what is he about to do? Yo, tower shield. What is this? Bounce spell. Is that a weaver? What is this, dude? Yo, I'll hit through a 50. I'll hit through a 50, bro. I don't have a problem with that. I'm going to hit right through. So if I'm at 12 pips with uh, 125 damage base, that's 1,500. 1,500 base damage. I'm about to send his way. 
Man, yo, yo, please steal. Come on, pet, 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 please. Just for being, like, even though I don't need it, please. I just want to do as much damage as humanly possible. Can you please steal, ward? Steal, oh, uh, whatever. Okay, that's fine. He's cooked, bro. There's no way you tanked this, man. I wish I had a different blade, but, like, yeah, dude, he's cooked. This is 1,500 base damage. This is doing, like, 20k to his head. Actually, okay, maybe not that much, but it's doing a lot, bro. It's doing a lot. No critical, no problem, dude. 30 blade, 10 pierce blade. Bye-bye, shield. 30 trap, 30 trap, 25 trap, 30 trap, 30 trap, 35 trap, 35 trap. My man is gone. That is a GG, baby. Let's get it. 17K, no crit necessary. I told you, bro. I told you, man. If I can get legitimate matches against people that don't know what I'm doing, that aren't setting, that aren't sniping, I pull this off every time. Let's get it, dude. Let's get it, bro. 17K to his head. That's why people overvalue base damage. Base damage is not that important if you're if you're getting a lot of buffs. Base damage is important when you're spamming or when you don't typically hit with a, a lot of buffs. But when you have a lot of buffs, base damage doesn't really mean that much. So that's why like res is so much better on a setup like this. That's what I'm talking about, bro. G G homie. GG man. <laughs> oh, I wonder what he says. <laughs> He's like, "Holy oh, Leah, dude. What if this this guy just balanced for me, dude?" I forgot how converts works, dude. Dude, same. It tr uh, don't feel bad. Don't feel bad. Uh, I only did this strat because it happened to me. So like, you know what I mean? I, I feel your pain, bro. I you know what I mean? That was some gas though. Good luck with your matches, bro. All right, that was cool though. I'll take it. So let's see how this goes down. I'm kind of curious, but like, this is probably gonna be a fat L. I don't think I'm going to need the elemental defuse. I, I waste too many pips doing that. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to draw from side deck either. Because I want to draw main deck right now. Pull like stun block, stuff like that. He's going to go ahead and stun block right away. Good move. That means I can't stun him. His pet's casting already. If that's a brace, dude. The fortify. Damn, bro. Everybody has fortify pets now. It's kind of nuts. All right. So that's a really good pull though. I'm down for that. So I'm going to just go for the spirit trap. Like I said, I need to trap as fast as possible. The very bad thing about this is that I know that he packs Scion, and there's really nothing I can do about that. So, honestly, this is probably going to be a fat L. I don't think there's any way I can, like, deal with this, but we'll give it our best shot, you know what I mean? We'll give it our best shot, bro. I don't need two prisms. I'm going to discard the prism. I think you really only need one. If it ends up getting death and they empower, you kind of just have to accept that your career is over. You know what I mean? You have to accept that, like, that's just, you're cooked. So, I'm going to go for the, I, I'm going to draw as well now. Yeah, there you go. All right. So, I'm actually going to, yeah, I'm going to do this. I don't want a spirit trap. I don't need to do that. I, yeah, if I fail, Pip, actually, yeah, if I, actually, it doesn't matter, dude. All right. So, we got our fortify as well. Not like that matters at all. I'm really going to trap him as fast as I can, though. Because that's going to be so important, dude. I don't know exactly how many traps I need to kill him either. That's going to be a tough one. But I'm going to just draw from side deck now. He bubbled, it's a great move because I don't pack any bubs. I'm just going to discard the tower and then trap him again. So I'm going to do this and then go for that. So we're just going to get another set of traps on him. See if this, uh, I need a little pip conserve though. That that would be really important. If I could get a P conserve right now, nice, okay. That's huge. That means I could empower, like there's a few things I could do. I don't need the spirit shield, I'm going to draw. Got an empower, but I, my pips are a little bit higher for that. Yeah, my pips are a little bit higher for the empower. It wouldn't really make sense. He's going to go for a 40 blade. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a good move. I'm going to discard the empower draw one time, and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, spirit trap, right? Yeah. Do I need to hold on to the 25? Maybe, dude. Maybe. And if I peek and serve again, it's a good move. See, I'll just do this. We're going to set another set to trap on him. There goes the 30s. Do I need a dark pact? No, I don't need a dark pact against him. So I'm going to discard the dark pact. I don't need that stun block. All right. So I'm, I'm pulling a bunch of random things, which I don't really need. And I'm very much worried about a scion, but I have to play this fast. I have to play this very, very fast. And I need to also play off my Fortify and off, like, Ellie Shields and stuff like that. So I'm going to discard both of these, see what I can draw. Okay, I'm going to go for the Spirit Trap. I need to buff again. I might need to Prism now, honestly. I, I don't know how many buffs I need to kill him, dude. I think I had six buffs on Marissa with the Faint, and it did 19k to a Weakness. And he is Ice, so I don't know what the move is here. Do I need two Judgments? Honestly, probably not. I could discard, but let's see. He's going to go ahead and blade again. All right. So at this point, I still have my fortify. So I might want to prism now. But let's see. Can I get one more trap up? If I can get one more trap. No, I can't. So I low-key need to uh, elemental shield. Yeah, I have to elemental shield now. I, I don't want him silencing me or doing something crazy. So we'll just do this. So now that I'm protected, he would have to shatter to take it off. And I have another Ellie shield in my deck. So I'm going to do that. Uh, get rid of the stun, obviously. 
I have the faint, but I don't think I'm going to need the faint, honestly. The faint is clutch, though, especially if you don't need to fire off. But, I, mm, yeah, fire off's not going to be necessary, right? But what if he packs, like, main decks towers and starts doing some weird stuff? I want to ideally get one more buff. Oh, and I could also, yeah, I don't need the faint. I'd rather have a blade. Yeah, I'm going to discard the faint. All right, so he went for a tower shield. That's fine, though. I'm gonna discard that. Can I pull something? Can I pull one more trap? How many? How many uh, things? I have one, two, three, four. I only have four buffs on him. That's not enough, honestly. That's really not enough, dude. But I think I have to just ascend it at this point. Yeah, okay, I have a plan. So I'm gonna prism now. I, I have to. I don't have too much of a time. I, I wanted to get more buffs on him, but it's too late. And it got death, of course, dude. Of course I hit death, man. Of course. Yeah, I, I can't win this, dude. And of course, the first card that pulls the spirit trap, too. If he does pack empower, I think I'm cooked. I think I'm cooked. All he has to do is empower me. I wonder what this is. He actually hit me, surprisingly. Polar Swarm. Oh, he's playing normal ice. I thought he was doing like a trap stack, guys. I know he wants to sigh on me, but with only one blade, I'm not really tripping, dude. I'm not really tripping, man. So let's see what I'd want to do here. So traps at this point are worthless, but I can shatter. Shatter would be really good. I'm going to discard the Spirit Trap. I need to hold on to that Judge. Dude, where is my... Bro. Dude, where is my, like, things, man? I could Elf him. I could Elf him, then Shatter, then Shrike. Would that even be that bad? That's kind of sus. But at this point, I'm going to do it, dude. Yeah, at this point, I'm going to Elf him. All right, so I'm going to send the Elf. This is kind of a weird move, but I low-key have to. I don't have that much of a choice at this point. So I'm going to send the Fire Elf. Then I need to shatter him next turn. Don't know how I didn't put my shatter, by the way. And then I'm going to need to mock and spiel and hope that somehow that kills with the critical, I guess. Because otherwise, yeah, there's no way. There's actually no way. All right, so I discard the traps. I need to draw the shatter. All right, there we go. We pulled the shatter. All right, cool. So at this point, I'm going to obviously shatter him. And then I have to hope I get a fortified cast or something. Let's see if he, like, empowerments. Oh, he's going to brace. Yeah, all right. So I have to shatter now. The good thing, though, is that his buffs are low. And I can still, like, put in work. But, yeah, I got to shatter now. So that's 100% my move is the shatter. Then I need to strike. Then I need to strike and I'm gonna have to just send it at that point. I wish I, I should have passed that turn actually. Cause I need to, yeah, I should have just passed bro. Because I need that elf. Cause yeah, I need that elf bro. Cause I'm not going to do enough damage to him. That's the problem. Even if I bleed and then strike and then pierce and like, I'm going to have to, I could waste out that brace and then hit with the blade. Actually, I do have a, there, there are some ways around this. There are some ways around this, but it's it's going to be tough, dude. It's definitely going to be tough. So let's see what he does here. I wonder if he, he's just going to send like a Shadowhorn or a Weaver. Okay, cool. So I have the Elf taken and off. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I don't know what the move is here, actually. I don't know if I want to strike like right now, but I can't buff myself any further. So striking here and the Elf is running out now, right? The Elf is literally gone. Yeah, the Elf is literally gone here. So I could strike then Blade. Wait, what if I strike a Blade Mock and Spill? He'd still have the Brace. Do I want to run out his Brace? Is it worth it to do that? And just forgive the Elf and like maybe shatter him again? Would that be even a good idea? I'm going to go ahead and Blade right now though. I'm going to Blade right now. Let's do that. I, I know I'd rather do this than strike anyway. So I'm going to Blade right now and then see uh, what happens. See how he responds. The elf is taking off the, the shield, which is good. And if I can waste out his brace, I got to fortify. That's huge. Okay. I got to hit him without brace, I think. All right. So I got my brace. So I think I need to shield, then strike. And then uh, if he tries to shield, I can pierce. And then I can send my mocking spiel. He won't have a brace. That's the plan. Tower shield, strike, pierce. Yeah, I think that's the move, right? Let me see. Let me see. I got to see how many turns. Actually, I might even be able to strike right now. What is this? If that's a tower shield, I pierce. Yeah, it's a tower shield. So I got to pierce that off, right? Yeah, it's a non-Aegis protected TC tower. So I'm going to go ahead and draw one time and I'm going to pierce right now. That's 100% my move. Break off that. Waste out his brace longer. Stack up my, my pips a little bit more. Not like I need to because I'm going to be at max pips when I go for the kill anyway. But the point is I want to be able to hit him where he doesn't have brace up. That's that's what I'm trying to do right now. So his best move would be to rebrace right now. That, that would be his best move, honestly, if he rebraced. Don't need two shatters. I'm going to discard that. There, pull my other pierce. So I'm going to strike right now, no matter what. No matter what, I'm sending the strike. I can strike Shatter if he tries to do two different shields. So he's going to go for another shield. That's fine. I wonder what it is. It's a 55 tower shield. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and strike right now, right? Yeah, I'm going to strike right now. And then see what he does. I'm going to strike right now. And then uh, let's say he goes for another tower shield. I'll Shatter Mockenspiel. That's, that's the plan, dude. He might also still have that empowerment. He might have been waiting for the empowerment until I strike. So, I don't know. I, I think I just needed one more buff on him. Because I don't have enough buffs to kill. Because at this point, let's see what he does. If he tower shields again, I shatter. If he braces... Uh, 
Dwight Pearson, probably. What is this? Bounce the spell? Okay, yeah, that's fine. I saw that coming. So, now that he bounces spell me, I do have something to take it off, right? I'm pretty sure I have one more thing I can take it off with, yeah. I have the spirit trap, but, okay, cool, yeah. So, I'm gonna take off the bounces spell. His brace is gone. He's gonna re-brace. That's what I think he's gonna do. Otherwise, I would shatter Machenspiel. Otherwise, that's what I'd do, yeah. I'd shatter Machenspiel. But, let's see. I think he's also trying to buy time to get an aura of his own. So, let's see. If he... I'm, I'm kind of curious. If he does the same tower shield, I'm gonna send the Machenspiel. Or, or the judgment, sorry. I would just full sun the damage and hope that kills. But it's not going to. I don't have enough buffs on him. Even though it's a lot of damage, I don't have enough buffs. So what is this, a weakness? Is that a weakness? What is this, dude? Oh, okay. So now I shatter. I shatter into the Mockenspiel. That's what I do. I have to shatter Mockenspiel. And I, I don't think that kills, honestly. And he might get a fortify from his pet. Yeah, dude. I needed more buffs. I was too worried about a Scion. But I don't even think he packed Scion. So I, yeah, I just misread his strat. I think he w I thought he was going to go for like a blade stack uh, Scion strat. So I, I thought I needed to rush the traps. But I could have waited a little bit longer. Because if I had one extra buff, I'd be okay. But I'm not okay now. Even though I'm going to break off both the shields and then send uh, the Machenspiel, it doesn't matter. The Machenspiel will not kill, dude. There's no way on planet Earth. It just doesn't kill. I only have five buffs, dude. Five buffs it doesn't make it do 10,000 damage. You know what I mean? My only hope is that I get a Steel Ward cast. That's my only hope. It's my pet Steel Wards, dude. Which is possible. Please, can you cast for once? <gasps> I can't believe this. I, this is nuts. 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 Take this Mockenspiel. Let's go, dude. You never cast, but the one time I need you, you actually cast it. Oh, my God. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. This kills for sure. I don't need a critical. He's cooked. He's cooked. Five buffs in strike. Mans is it's over. Mans is done, dude. And those are good traps, too. That's crazy. Steel Ward of the Century, bro. Holy. Steel Ward of the Century, bro. Let's get it. Oh my god. Where's Rapid with the... Oh, you love RNG, right, Blake? Oh my god. Dude, that was the most clutch. Oh my god, dude. What? Oh, I take with the hundred. I take with the hundred. Oh my, you're not. This game can't be real, dude. Holy, bro. These matches are too hype. Bro. The steal. I tanked with the hundred. Wow. That could not have gone any more perfectly. Like, actually. that There's no way that could have gone any more perfect than that. That's so crazy. Wow.